The month of February was good to my collection as I added some games and figurines. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you everything that I bought in the month of February. Now I have some absolutely awesome items coming in the mail that are for Pokemon, that are consoles, some of those 2DS consoles that I'm looking to unbox, and actually there's a Nintendo Direct happening tomorrow, hopefully I'll make a video of that as well, but let's get to my pickups for the month of February. First up, let's go through some of the games. This is Metroid Fusion, this is not a factory sealed copy, it is a reseal, but it's in very good condition. This one I bought locally for $45, the price was right on that margin that I wasn't sure if I should get it or not, I went into the store, I left, I actually came back in, then went... You know what? A few days later, I'm going to buy this. I think it's a good enough deal that I want this game in my collection eventually. And I don't want to pay for shipping because shipping gets outrageous, especially trying to get things to Canada from the United States and things like that. Next up, this game was actually sent to me. So thank you so much, Retro Gamer Ireland. There was a contest that I entered. This is one of my favorite games of all time. This one's called Mario Story, better known as Paper Mario this one I was asking about because I want to eventually maybe speedrun this game. And of course, games are always faster in Japanese. So thank you so much, Retro Retro Gamer Ireland, for sending me this game. That's absolutely fantastic. That was through Instagram, by the way. So you can follow him on Instagram. Great fellow collector. Thank you so much. Then I picked up New Play Control Pikmin for the Nintendo Wii. I already had New Play Control Pikmin 2, but I was missing this one. So I finally ran into a copy of this, and I think I bought it for something like 10 or $15. I think it's going to be worth it over time, the Pikmin series. Hopefully a fourth iteration comes. So I think they're definitely going to be worthwhile in the long run. And the New Play Control, I'm just kind of excited to see what that's all about. Next up, I got Star Fox Assault, a glaring omission in my GameCube collection. This one I bought used for $15. I don't know how I found this because normally it sells for like $40 or something like that. So I was very pleased to actually add this to my collection as well. And it's something that I've been missing for a very long time. Star Fox Zero is out very, very soon and I'm excited for that one. Hopefully there's a special edition for that as well. Next up, I bought this a long time ago. I don't think I've ever mentioned it on a video yet. This is Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. This one actually comes with two Amiibo inside as well. I have not opened this up. I bought it off Amazon when it went on sale for like $35 or something like that. And I've had it for months. I just haven't talked about it. So there it is in this video right now. All right, maybe I'll put that one up on the side. And there are a lot of other little things that I've been finding that aren't always worth mentioning. And this is just something that's actually a double. I already have Yoshi's Woolly World, but I found it on Kijiji. The person was selling it for $15. It is factory sealed. And I looked at it. I do think it's authentic. Have you ever bought a factory sealed item on Kijiji or Craigslist? What was your experience with that? I just thought to get a double of it, why not for $15? I think it's only going to go up in value over time. All right, next up, World of Nintendo figures. I got a lot of World of Nintendo figures. Some of them are really, really cool. So in Canada... The Wave 1-4 is not even out yet. This is Wave 1-4. We're still on Wave 1-3 in my area in Canada. And these ones I found on Amazon. So I found them for $11 each or $11.99 each. And I bought a lot of them. So these are the 4-inch figures. This one's Tanuki Mario, of course. Then there is Shy Guy. I wouldn't call this one 4 inches, but he's pretty tall. They also have a mystery item normally. Next up is Cat Luigi with a nice cat bell actually on the side. And I also got a Link, just classic Link from Ocarina of Time 3D, it says. There's a few other Links that are going to come out, and there's been a few in the past as well. And this is not just Samus, this is Gravity Suit Samus, and there's also a version of this that comes with metal that I want to get my hands on eventually. So I was able to pick up those ones. That's not all of them, though. Uh, actually, is that all of them from that set? I guess that's all of them from Series 1-4. I didn't even know that's the entire wave. No, it's not, because Cat Luigi's from Wave 1-5. So I'm obviously missing one of them. Which one am I missing right here that I don't have? Fire Luigi. Fire Luigi's not there, but Cat Luigi is. So I just ordered these off Amazon because those are the ones that I happened to see when I went on. They're really cool, by the way. They're not Amiibo, but they are posable, and I think they're fantastic in the packaging. I want more waves to come out to Canada. I can't believe we're like two waves behind right now. Also, in addition to that, I was able to find another Star Fox, so I did buy a Fox McCloud. He's not really Star Fox, so I picked that one up as well, just because I happened to find it locally for that one. 
And next up, there's some Legend of Zelda Microland sets. So these ones I saw on YouTube a few months ago. They really infatuated me. I thought they were really awesome. This is the Legend of Zelda Small World, Micro World. This is the deluxe pack. This one's just called Outset Island. But two of these squares look like they're absolutely plain, so I'll probably do a review of this at some point and actually open this up and unbox it. And along with that one, there was the other one that I was really interested in. This one's called King of Red Lions Pack. Of course, you have that character, King of Red Lions, right there. You have Link. You have a few really generic little pieces of squares at the bottom as well. But these things are really awesome. In Canada, I think they sell for just over $20. In the United States, I think they're normally selling for less than that, something like $20. Maybe you can find them as a better deal. I can find these readily in Toys R Us, sometimes in Walmart in my area, but Target doesn't exist in Canada anymore. So it's a bit harder to find some of those things. And along with those, the last three items that I'll talk about are more Zelda Microland. These are little figurines right here. So I'll probably do an unboxing of these. This is Tetra, King of Hyrule, and Ganondorf, of course. Then next up, we have three more characters. We have Link, Makar, and Bokoblin. And sometimes I pronounce these strange. I know I'm from Canada, but the, the Bokoblins are really cool. Bokoblins, however you want to pronounce them. The characters don't often talk in The Legend of Zelda. Outset Link, Errol, and Grandma. Of course, Errol is Link's sister in the game. Not really a spoiler. So there's quite a bit that I picked up in February. It's not an obscene amount, but as a collector, I do have to pace myself, and there hasn't been a lot of amiibo. It's been a slower month for collecting, a slower month for making videos. I've been really focused on other things. My computer, my laptop is basically dying, so it's been slowing down some of my video production as well. And really, I've just been so busy with work and so busy with coaching and all my other priorities. And it's also winter in Canada. Winter finally actually hit Canada. So please comment below, what was your favorite thing that I picked up? During the month of February, what's your favorite thing in this pickups? If I had to pick one thing, I really like that I was actually given this game, Yoshi's, not Yoshi's, but Mario Story by Retro Gamer Island. I really appreciate that. And I also really like the fact that I finally got Star Fox Assault. So those are some of my personal favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket. Follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video. And remember, as always, go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks so much for watching.